Hi folks, in this lab we're going to be enabling DHCP snooping in Packet Tracer and exploring the different options that are available. In this lab I've set up two different servers here, two different DHCP servers. One is a trusted server that is handing out good IP addresses for the 10.1.1.0 network. The other one down here is a rogue DHCP server which we don't necessarily know about and it's handing out addresses on the 192.168.1.0 network which is something we have not set up this is just connected to the access switch and is now just handing out IP addresses if I go to PC1 which this is going to be our only client for this lab but it would apply either way if you had multiple clients this is just to demonstrate you're going to go to config fast ethernet 0 and then click on DHCP and it's going to send out a DHCP discover packet to the switch and it's going to broadcast it out to every single interface on VLAN 1. Now in this case we actually did manage to get a response from the good server here, the trusted server, but if I try it again, or it actually may, might take a few times, but if we keep trying it might get a response from that bad server. Yep, I just got it from right here. There it is, 192.168.1 network. Now it's obviously bad and that can cause a lot of issues. So to fix this, we can leverage a feature called DHCP snooping on the switch. To do that, we're going to go to the CLI, hit enable, configuration terminal, and then we're going to go IP DHCP snooping. That enables DHCP snooping. But then we have to specify the VLAN. So again, we're going to type in IP DHCP snooping VLAN 1. And this whole lab is just going to be on VLAN 1. So at this point, DHCP snooping has been enabled on the switch. If we try to request a DHCP address, again, what's going to happen is it's actually not going to receive uh, a DHCP address at all. And the reason why is because by default, when you enable DHCP snooping, it sets all interfaces to untrusted. See here, so what we just got there was a, a link local address. So we didn't get a DHCP address successfully. So to fix this, we actually have to set this trusted server interface, this would be F02, to trust. Now to do that, we have to go to interface config mode for fast ethernet 02. So we'll go int F02. Then we're gonna type in IP DHCP snooping trust. And that's it. Now at this point, if we try one more time, like, like I said earlier, this is a link local address it got last time. So if we go static and then DHCP, this time it should get a response from the trusted DHCP server this time. And there it goes, yep, 10.1.1.102, that's correct. There are a few show commands that we can use to verify the DHCP snooping configuration on the switch. So if we type in show run pipe section DHCP. This will show the previous commands which you have entered where we enabled DHCP on VLAN 1 and set fast ethernet 0 2 as a trusted interface. If we type in show IP DHCP snooping this will also show the trusted and untrusted interfaces right here. As you can see fast ethernet 0 2 is set as a trusted interface. This will also show which VLANs are trusted. So currently we've only set up VLAN 1. In addition to this, we have the DHCP snooping binding table, which we can get to by typing in show IP DHCP snooping binding. And this will display the binding configurations that have been captured by DHCP snooping. It builds this table through the intercepted DHCP messages that come through the switch. They'll include the MAC address, IP address that's given out by the DHCP server, the lease time, the VLAN number, and the interface. Now in regards to the DHCP snooping binding table, it will automatically remove an entry if the lease expires from the host or if the host sends out a DHCP release command, it will automatically release uh, remove the entry from the DHCP binding table. Now just a, another note from the DHCP table, you can actually clear 
the DHCP table by typing in clear IP DHCP snooping binding and that will actually clear the uh, binding table. Now one final note on the binding table. Um, DAI which is dynamic ARP inspection and source guard also use the binding table uh, the entries from the binding table so just keep that in mind for the future. Another feature that's available in DHCP snooping is MAC address verification. This can be enabled by typing in IP DHCP snooping verify MAC dash address. And what this does with MAC address verification enabled, if the switch receives a packet on an untrusted interface where the source MAC address and the DHCP client hardware address do not match, address verification will just cause it to drop the DHCP packet. Um, so that's one feature that can be enabled. One other feature that I found is not available on this version of Packet Tracer is option 82. This would normally be enabled by typing in IP DHCP snooping information option 82. However, this command doesn't seem to be available on this version of Packet Tracer, but in any case, what option 82 does in a live environment if you enable it it adds an additional field that is required for metropolitan ethernet networks um, it basically the description from cisco here is it allows multiple hosts on the subscriber lan to connect to the same port on the access device and they are still uniquely identified so that's option 82 and that pretty much does it for DHCP snooping in this lab. If you found it useful, please like the video and thank you for watching.